The Honourable Steve Wan. Mr President, uh, I wanted to uh, talk tonight about my concerns about the transition of uh, services in Queanbeyan age, for aged care, disability and respite, mm -hmm. uh, which are transitioning at the moment from uh, being provided under contract by our local council, the Queanbeyan City Council, to uh, uh, community-based providers, uh, generally um, not-for-profits. But uh, this is an issue which I've asked uh, two questions about in this place over the last couple of weeks and unfortunately have not had uh, reasonable answers to those questions. Uh, there is a number of concerns about the transition. Firstly, uh, the Queanbeyan City Council has for some years uh, received uh, grants from state and federal governments to provide services through the HAC services, uh, through Department of Health and Ageing, uh, uh, the state uh, HAC funding, state disability funding, state community transport funding, there's been respite funding, uh, funding from the federal government as well, all up totalling uh, over $3 million worth of funding per annum. For this, uh, it has to be said, for many years, Queanbeyan City Council has provided some fantastic services. They've provided a, for a long time a community transport service which was the envy of many areas, uh, a fabulous hack centre and many services which went well above and beyond the call and the specific requirements of those. Uh, in doing so, I acknowledge the Queanbeyan City Council provide a significant subsidy themselves out of ratepayers' funds, uh, just under $2 million a year they estimated, $1.8 million a year. Now, the council has decided that they don't want to provide that level of subsidy in the future and have given up those contracts and they've now gone to private providers. Uh, however, I'm hearing a lot of complaints from uh, people in the community about a much lower level of service that is now resulting. Uh, not the fault of those community providers, but because of that subsidy disappearing, uh, we are now seeing less services available. Most worryingly, the services are located in different uh, parts of Queanbeyan. Uh, people feel less comfortable in those areas and uh, are being offered less provision of services such as outings on the buses in the community transport. Uh, I am particularly concerned about the fact that Council is in the process of, of transferring or converting the hack centre over to office space for Council. Now that um, hack centre was uh, constructed with 40 per cent funding from the State Government. Uh, at this stage, the State Government, as I understand it, has not been in contact with Queanbeyan City Council to say whether it wants that money returned or, more importantly, whether it can negotiate a way of continuing to have some sort of permanent facility there for the clients of the HAC services. Uh, one of the important things about that HAC centre, and I'm sure that I'm not the only one here uh, out of my Queanbeyan colleagues here who's been there, is that it had a fabulous facility including tables and chairs and facilities for, um, for serving food, a garden outside, a place which made the users feel very comfortable, a regular place for them to go uh, every week when they attended uh, services in the area and a place which they felt was uh, a home away from home. The problem now is that they are been going to go to the different facilities funded by the different providers uh, they won't have a single facility where they are able to go and, uh, and get the services and feel so comfortable. And I do think that that is a real tragedy out of this process. That, uh, that investment that has been made in a facility, uh, which yes, was owned by the council, uh, which certainly yes, cost them some money in upkeep, but uh, which I think most uh, people in Queanbeyan, most ratepayers would agree was a reasonable expenditure of ratepayers' funds uh, for services for the people of Queanbeyan. I don't necessarily agree with Council's view that uh, this is not an area for Council to be involved in. Sixty years ago it probably wasn't an area that any government was involved in and yet government started to take these functions on. Uh, it is something which I felt needs more discussion with the Queanbeyan community. Many of these decisions were made in closed sessions of Council with very limited community consultation and the transition to new service providers proved to be quite traumatic for many of the families involved. Uh, including uh, on occasions requests for information which uh, sailed pretty close to the wind when it came to privacy implications uh, for people. So while it is not over the 10 years that I've represented the area, one way or another, it has been my practice not to criticise local councils because I felt a working relationship was better. And uh, I raise this with some reluctance here tonight. But I do so because I am hearing strong feedback from uh, com from users of these services in the age dis and disability areas in Queanbeyan that they are concerned about the decline in service levels. 
uh, but also, very importantly, because I think the state government has a role to play in making sure that we keep a hack facility in Queanbeyan available for everyone to use. And uh, I would call on the state government to take an active interest in this issue to try and come up with a better solution for the people of Queanbeyan.